We are ready to sacrifice allowances so that workers can get 150,000 minimum wage, Senator Wadada speaks. I know, Grio, 250 or nothing. 150 does nothing for a family who has children and who also has to take care of rent and other things. It is in detail. Federal lawmakers in Nigeria are ready to slash the remuneration and allowances to enable workers earn 150,000 naira as minimum wage. Senator Ahmed Wadada, representing Nasara West Senator District, has made this known during an interview with journalists in Kafi local government area of Nasarawa State on Tuesday. According to him, the current realities of the Nigerian economy informed his decision to propose the figure which will go a long way in elevating the hardship faced by the workers. Madara said, I have expressed my opinion in the past on the issue and I'm going to reiterate it here. For me as a person, the minimum a worker should earn is 150,000 naira, looking at the realities of today. At worst, it should be higher than what the government is currently offering. Much has got to be done by the government. He lauded the Tunimba administration for running an open, transparent and listening government that will come up with a figure acceptable to workers. Madara said, you all know that communication between the government and the government is key to governance because that is the only way the citizens will know rightly or wrongly the direction of the government. Among other projects, we are aware of the coastal highway from Lagos to Calabar, which will be a turning point for the economic development of Nigeria. So far, we commend this administration. He called on President Tunubu to approve nothing less than 150,000 naira as the new minimum wage for Nigerian workers, noting that leaders' spiritual life cannot be complete if we do not have the fear of God in all our doing dealings. Now, this is what I'm going to say. Okay, you try, you, but you know rich. Let me break it down for you. For somebody who is living in a rented apartment, uh, let's say, for instance, his rent was formerly, let me just say his rent was formerly, um, what's it called, 50,000 naira. I'm just saying this. Maybe the person they live for, face me, I slap you. Now we are in money, Risham. And the face me, I slap you. People with it, they live decent. Just then get face me, I slap him, say, go enter. You say, if everyone go quiet, then you go pass three inside the compound or four. Good. Now, Maybe in end con skyrocket from fifty thousand naira, they can't they charge him hundred. Him and landlord they can't negotiate. Okay, make we leave him for eighty thousand. This is what they tell you they happen. Mm -hmm. Now they can't leave him for eighty thousand naira. Okay, the person saying that eighty thousand. Now inside the eighty thousand naira, he go buy food, and we all know say the common of the most common food for inside this country will be day. If not in their house, rice could do your house. At least, even if you don't get to a sachet tomato or tomato paste or fresh tomato or fresh pepper, you go get dry pepper. You understand? You go get waiting. You get you go get a, a dry pepper. You go get a what's that they call? Maggi to the house. You go get a, you know a seasoning and salt. You understand? And you go get right away. These things go there for house. Even sometimes we're not trying to go there. Red oil must be. But rice go there. Now you will need to buy rice. Inside that money. Even if you talk, say, eh, now only once, now then go buy your, if then go buy, even if like, eh, make a say, I have a bag of rice, now how much? How bag of rice, now 40 kilos. Some places, now 40 something thousand. Make a day break and down for you. You never enter moto. Children's school fees, no day inside. If children fall sick, no day inside. Your mama call, your papa call, you no day inside. As a man, so you walk out for road. See what's you hungry. I know even say see what's in your light go be a You know go be a hmm. This one fifty no work. My people are being work. Yes, people may say eh, coming from where I am not saying coming from where I'm saying coming from what we are supposed, what we are worth. It is not enough. Even that two fifty seven is supposed to be the benchmark of low. That two fifty is the lowest. Remember where they were coming from? It was 600 and something thousand naira. Remember where this people is coming from. And the um, labor should also talk to the government that it is not that they will now collect this uh, 250. That is when they now finally get to that stop. And if not, they will now collect this 250 and the government will now go and sleep. Price of things will keep going up. No, the government will also sign a memorandum. They'll have a MOU of understanding that look, this 250. It's not just going to be 250 and the government will go and sleep. 
they are going to come in, they're going to subsidize electricity tariff, subsidize taxes, subsidize petrol. Yes, so that we are going to do what we are going to the money is going to be useful. Nobody say go carry money, go and enter market. You go, you go carry 100k, enter market, carry 150, enter, carry 200, you go be like, say they rob you. I beg. They should sign an MOU that look at look at from this point to this point, electricity tariff goes to, uh, electricity tariff goes drop. From this point to this point, fuel go they subsidize. From this point to this point, gas go they subsidize. From this point to this point, this one will happen. That is how it will be. Not that oh they will come out to man say hey, after all they don't increase. No, no, rice will be subsidized. Rice will go back. It is not a crime if rice go back to twenty. There was once upon a time we were buying rice for twenty thousand. There was no point they said we we're buying full bag of rice for eight thousand naira. Now why were I saying okay fine you know if you go back there but there was a time we we're buying rice for fifteen thousand eight and a half bag. I did that time they buy back for four thousand naira, and they go chatter around, chatter around for markets that time where they do business with rice. So I beg make nobody say this thing make nobody tell us. Ah uh ah, -uh. at least twenty k. Make person for buy so that you know say twenty k for rice. You go buy me so many rice, you go your children go eat now. You go buy rice, you go buy me now. One tub of yam, now how much for market? One tub of yam, enough, even five thousand naira. Oh, now you go be like your hand. Five thousand naira yam, you know, get weights. If you won't buy better yam, now we say, if you have plenty for us, that yam, you know, go feel manage, go reach everybody. Yeah, yam go reach seven thousand, eight thousand. Imagine, say, you okay, ten thousand go now, only one tub of yam you go buy. How you go feel? You know, talk being so. You don't talk fruit, you don't call <laughs> I just forget to oh, these people just they play. Ah, I I love this man. May you enjoy all the things the Almighty will keep for you in life. May generation continue. The man try you. Oh. <laughs> continue to enjoy this blessing. FD, please look into this. We need to survive as a nation. The man try, but me, I'm saying he try. In fact, now he own nine high pass, but make you see him. Maybe they increase him. That's 250 now. They look. That's 250. So that let's say 150 go cater for everything we did for us. The remaining 100,000 there will also cater for children's school fees and other things. Ah ah. What's in your You see, I don't even include savings. I don't include savings. Uh -huh. If you're the right house, you go know as it be now. This is the only lawmaker that have sense among the rest and the red and green chambers. My dear, nothing can. If I say come as I can't talk, we don't know what they in mind so. Me, I know they, I know these people. <laughs> mm. I'm yet to see what Labour Party lawmakers have to say on this matter. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.